In this week's review, we are looking at Phasmophobia as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, can Painticus review a game before all of the hype dies down? But unlike other games I've covered, this game is in early access, which is to say that all of the information shown here may become tragically, yet hilariously, outdated. On September 18th, 2020, Phasmophobia was released to the public quickly becoming one of the most popular games of the year, overtaking the multiplayer titans Among Us and Fall Guys in sales. According to Wikipedia, in Phasmophobia, you and up to three others travel across the United States, responding to reports of, and ultimately proving the existence, of ghosts. But before we get to doing that, we must first assemble our team. Firstly, we have Sempra, a seasoned ghost hunter with the uncanny ability to provoke those on the other side. You aren't doing anything, guys. I've called her a bitch many times. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Ruth hey, White. Oh, is this your daughter? In the water. Next up is Siri, our resident surveillance wizard and world renowned door enthusiast. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> How does one do this? You close it, you crouch down, you look like down, and then you just move to the right. Oh my god, yeah, there it is. Oh no! Oh no, he's hunting now! Oh god, I locked him in! Then we move on to a rash. He... He kind of needs more training. Elizabeth, what was her last name? Uh, White, I think. Elizabeth White. El Elizabeth White, come out. We want to be friends. Can we kill the ghosts in this game? I don't even know the objective. Finally, we have me, the trusted leader of this ghost hunting squad. That was really scary, Paint. You told me to hide. I tried hiding, and then I just got brutally murdered. Now that we have our team, we can begin to explore the haunted world of Phasmophobia. Uh, no, you can't, you, cannot, you cannot kill the ghosts. Rash, I don't know if you know much about ghosts, but them being dead is kind of the whole point. Yeah, but like, if this was Ghostbusters, you could suck them into a vacuum cleaner. Dude, I would love to suck up some ghosts, but I'm afraid that's not possible. In order to track down ghosts, you are given the option of taking items such as EMF detectors, parabolic microphones, and motion sensors, among many others. Therefore, coming to a hunt with sufficient equipment, is vital. Uh, so the name what is, is Georgia. What is this? Paint, what is this? I've just got a purple bike, like piston. <laughs> that's a that's a glow stick. Some equipment, on the other hand, is not for the hunting of ghosts, but rather to protect you from the ghosts. This is because most of the ghosts you come across will be both prey and predator. This means that on top of your investigative equipment, you must also bring defenses. No, she's coming. Oh my god, oh my god, she's right there. Okay, never mind. She's coming! She's gone. I am dead, boys. Goodbye. Why? Is <laughs> oh. What? What? He Go! Said that like so Go! Hang on, does anybody have any pictures left in their cameras? <laughs> just, uh, just be sure that you do actually bring everything you need. Okay, this ghost should appear yeah, to everyone good. as well, so we can... We can like, yeah, we're stuck with a lighter, <laughs> <laughs> a glow stick, and a UV light. If the concept of meddling with ghosts bothers you, you can always resort to a tactic that I call the Patriot Act. That is to say, you could run into the building, place some cameras, and retreat to the van and watch the ghosts from afar like the supernatural pervert that you are. I brought that can of beer for us, so we can take it home. Oh, oh I think I just go. saw a ghost orb. <laughs> what is a ghost orb? There's a little white dot that appears sometimes on the camera. Capture a photo of the ghost, dirty water. It's not very efficient. However, it is important to note that not all ghosts will respond to all kinds of equipment or surveillance. For example, some ghosts will make themselves known through writing, while others may choose to communicate through freezing temperatures or fingerprints. Some will even go as far as to communicate audibly through a special purpose-built radio, or as it is known in the ghost hunting trade, a spirit box. Ruth, Ruth, did you kill anyone? Ruth, do you... What if they were the person that was killed? Oh my god, Ruth, who but killed what you? If I am killed? Ruth was killed by an adult. An adult killed him. <laughs> that really narrows it down, it's Ruth. It's entirely possible. Huh, that checks out. Ruth, was it E? 
Cash? Cash money? Cash, cash, cash money hero. But be warned, it's not always the most informative. <laughs> anyway, this leads us on to the main objective of the game. By finding out which stimuli the ghost responds to, we can determine what kind of Halo vehicle it truly is. And naturally, once we find out what kind of ghoul we're dealing with, we quickly leave because that's someone else's problem. Though, as I implied earlier, this task is not always safe. In fact, in the ghost hunting profession, many good people die and it falls on us to respect them. Guys? Guys? Holy fuck, that, I'm dying. I'm dying. Wait, I'm coming to help. I got a really good oh, picture of his body. Fuck. Well, we have one evidence. We got freezing temperatures. <laughs> well, guys, look, there's a camera here which shows his dead we body. We have. <laughs> In order to prevent such tragedies, you must keep in constant contact with your team. Clear instructions and a keen sense of hearing are key. Yeah, if the ghost likes to be alone, we should be in different rooms, calling its name. So it was Elizabeth White, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna say we should all be alone, and we all enter this one tiny room. <laughs> there are two methods of staying in contact with your colleagues. The first is via physically close speech, which is clear, spatial, and more natural. As well as some minor illusions in the architecture of Brennenberg Castle. Oh Jesus himself. Christ, he's playing right, my still? videos. Oh my god. I hate that your character just stares at me blankly while it speaks well, in my voice. It feels significantly oh, less God. helpful here. Alternatively, you can use the long range radio, which allows you to contact others from any distance. The quality is lower, and ghosts can interfere, but it is much more widely accessible. I think it is this one, because it's, it's relatively cool. There are three reasons as to why this fact is making me start a small but elite paramilitary force. Number one, <laughs> are you playing it over the radio? But by all means, you should not constantly talk, as your team are not the only ones that can listen in. I have a pair of scissors. <laughs> Ruth, Sembra has Go scissors. Back. That's very dangerous. Please just appear. I'm running with scissors. As is often the way, the biggest threat to your ghost hunting group is not death, nor fear, nor an overwhelming lack of evidence. But instead, a rash leaving the group so he can go and play Fortnite or whatever. But it's okay, because we can replace a rash with... Um... Azrael. Dog with the Buddha. Oh, I forgot how it... Butter dog. Butter dog. Dog with the Buddha. <laughs> God damn it, it echoes so much. Butter. Butter with the Buddha. Depending on several variables, such as team size, time available, skill level, and patience for constant runs to and from the van, there are a number of different hunt locations to choose from. A prison, an asylum, a farmhouse, and even an abandoned school are all among the potential choices. But novice hunters can instead try their luck at smaller locales, such as the same three houses on repeat. Some locations are naturally more inviting than others, while some can be the stuff of nightmares. Who's this in front of me? That's me. Hello. Hello. Um, how do you feel about sacrificing Siri to the ghost? Well, seeing as Siri died last time, I think it's someone else's turn, so I would say... Also, I'm right here. <laughs> shh, shh, go away. Here's Xbox in living room who want to play Halo. Which Halo? Halo Reach? It's for noobs. Halo 3. Oh no. I can find controller. While the game is often made light-hearted and fun due to your companions, and the often blatantly early access appearance of the game, it is not unheard of to be frightened. Especially when you're not expecting it. God damn it, they got him. He's still hunting. He's still very much hunting. But, again, most of the time it's not scary. Yeah, it's a pretty good place. All three of you are on the bed, though, which is kind of strange. Do you think that the ghost will not notice us? No, I think the ghost notices us, it's just kind of, like, not into it. Also, <laughs> I'm loving what you're doing. Rash, you look like that, dude. Ruth, just appear. Do your thing. 
Why? <laughs> Ruth, we have your baseball cap. And your mug. We've brought you all the things you like. Please, show up. One thing you will find is how drastically the game changes based on who you bring. Some teams will work efficiently, others will be terrified, and some will endlessly chant the words, Butter Dog. Is recording every single thing we're saying? We shall create this game to learn English. Dog with the butter. Dog with the butter. Butter Dog. Butter, butter Dog. dog. <laughs> Let's get a new team. As the game is still in early access, there is much to be added to it. And as the players, it's our duty to let the developers know what we want. I'd like, uh, I'd like to see this game add, like, friendly ghosts. Although it would make it less scary. What if you had, like, a, like, like a wisecracking ghost partner? Oh, but he's also a dog. Yes, I was just about to say that he's a dog. <laughs> Other than the wise-cracking ghost dog, I would also like to see ghost variants behaving more uniquely during hunts, more small locations, new equipment, and the ability to easily mute players. Wake me up! Wake me up, man, so I can't wake up! But aside from the general clunk of the game and its relatively limited replayability, the game has been an excellent progression for co-op horror, a genre that hasn't seen much exploration in the past years. Therefore, I will rank it as great. I look forward to seeing what they make in the future. I think I speak for us all when I say I live in anticipation for the time when Phasmophobia is no longer early access. Can I... Can I stop speaking like this now? Oh, great, okay. <laughs> uh, well, um, thanks for watching. You can follow me on the links on screen, including Patreon, where the following people have consistently had to deal with my inconsistent schedule and choose to support me anyway. In fact, let's, um, let's see what the ghosts think of them. All right, we're getting close to Jennifer's room now. We're gonna talk to her about some of you and see what she thinks. Okay, let's close that up. <clears throat> Jennifer, now's not the time. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a thing. Yeah, I see you, okay. Jennifer, we're gonna talk. What do you think about the teeps? The teeps. Okay, don't, we don't seem to be getting much about the teeps. Okay, uh, how about untrusted life? Ooh, we got a footstep and a creak. Uh, Jennifer, are you a fan of Rogue Legends Dark Realms? Ooh! Oh, she definitely is. Okay, now, um... <clears throat> Cthulhu135. Jennifer, what do you know of the Chronicles of Orbis? Jennifer, this is a two-way street. Oh, you're... This isn't good. Okay, we're good to go again. <clears throat> Chronicles of Orbis is not, not on the table. Jennifer, do you dab for Kool-Aid jammers? Oh, she slammed the door. She's not happy about that one. Uh, let's go back to the teeps. Jennifer, when will the teeps let me see my family again? Attack? That's ominous. Okay, thank you. Uh, how about Emski? Got any opinions on Emski? Emski's great. Kill. Don't kill Emski! Oh my god! Uh, finally, Ernst the Ace. Oh. Do you want to kill Ernst the Ace? That's a resounding no. Excuse me, Ouija board. Can you say hello? Can you say anything, in fact? That would be sweet. Okay, Ernst, you seem to have got her trapped. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, Ernst, look what you've done. Well, um, <clears throat> that, that's not ideal. Thanks for killing me, and I'll see you all next time.